Hey everyone, this is Jenny Barrage and you are watching my weekly segment on news and insight in the gaming industry. Now this video is dedicated to Remembrance Day, a time to commemorate all of the individuals and soldiers who have lost their lives in the Great War. Now, video games have always highlighted great events that have taken place in the world wars. Oftentimes, these games are praised for their realism and their historical accuracy. But how realistic are these war games and war simulators? In this video, we'll be discussing the realism of historical war games. It can always be argued that gamers don't get the sense of war via war games. Bodies tend to disappear shortly after death, game levels can be restarted all over again, and battles remain only on screen. But when considering war games, it's good to know that gamers tend to gain much more empathy and understanding standing of the war than via any other medium. When you think about war games, Call of Duty and Medal of Honor tend to come in mind, at least for me. These video games have recreated experiences of an allied soldier at war, where the soldier is our heroic protagonist. The Microsoft Flight Simulator series have also grasped on historical World War accuracy. Details in these aircraft simulations, however, would often go unnoticed to a lot of gamers. Everything from Spitfire detail to even specific engines that were used in these historical aircraft such as the Griffin and the Merlin of World War II. Video games like these often use historically accurate weapons, locations of battle, and dates, and gamers do learn about the history of the wars via these games. However, a lot of academics tend to agree that these war games and other medias just like it are much more of a pro-military propaganda. For example, in the Call of Duty series, some of the games focus on World War II, yet the gamer isn't exposed to to the extreme horrors of the Holocaust in these games, perhaps one of the most significant events of the war itself. Therefore, instead of focusing on these wars as a whole, game developers of these popular war games tend to focus on one aspect of the war instead, either the technological aspect or the military aspect. By playing these war games, gamers are only exposed to one certain side of the war, without being exposed to the horrors and tragedies outside of the battlefield. So even though these war games include historically accurate names and locations, is the connection to the world wars realistic in these games? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. Also, make sure to sign up to my mailing list to keep up to date and to get a more personal response from me in regards to these topics. One thing is for sure though, by playing these war games, our respect deepens for those who were lost in these wars. And I think that's what really matters. Cheers and keep on gaming.